Maggie, it's always good to talk to you. Um, gosh, I, I love what we're about to talk about because we did a video, uh, it was maybe a year ago. I think so. Where we talked about the most returned gun because everybody was, and it was like all the new gun owners, they went out and they bought uh, Glocks, <laughs> a lot of them, because that was the recommendations they got, but they didn't, there was things they didn't like about it. Oh, yeah. And that was the most returned handgun by new gun owners, is my guess. But it's interesting that there's a new gun that people are returning in mass quantities. And, and you're right. Like when you brought this up, I thought, oh, and I, I think we could chat about why for quite a while. Uh, we, so, we so could. So Sherry, what, what, what do you think about that? So recently I've been getting a lot of phone calls here at the shop and a lot more people have been returning AR-15s or AR-15 platforms, um, anything on that platform, be it a handgun, a carbine size rifle, which are the short ones, and then the longer rifle size, full size rifles. So, I mean, right behind me, I've got a ton of black guns up here, and then I also and have a brightly colored. And, gun. Yes, and there's a bunch on the and floor. And then there are here. more on the floor that we Kinda trip over actually. every single day. And then there are more back over here. And then you have the tactical so, looking ones. Because so. that, was, that was also one of the. I mean, it had to have been the number one rifle purchase during that time. So does anybody? What do they say why? Do people say why they're wanting to get rid of this? Well, I do have some people that have, um, and I really, I, God, this is going to really light up your comment section if so I say it. it. So we can, we can <laughs> censor this part out. But they say that, you know, the current presidency and the way things are going, they're going to be illegal. So I'm going to get rid of it before it is illegal. Interesting. Um, so I don't want to have this when they are made illegal. I am going to trade this for something that will still be legal or you know if they bought it in 2019 or 2020 and they've never actually been out on a range date with that particular firearm they've got no you know sentimental value in it whatsoever it's just money and money can be traded or exchanged for something else so they'll get rid of it and trade it out, exchange it for something else or maybe nothing at all because they thought, well, if the world was that bad, you know, as we mm. were told it was and no one still, you know, and I didn't need it then, I, I can't see myself needing it in the future, might as well just return it, exchange it for something else or just put it up on consignment, get the money back for that item instead of actually holding on to an item that I won't use. Interesting. And I, I get that. I mean, you have a finite amount of space in your square footage um, that you would dedicate to firearm storage, however many places that may be. But yeah, when your collection outgrows your space for it or whatever your reasons may be, you let go of the stuff that you don't... You don't think you're gonna use. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because I've let go of a lot of guns over the years <laughs> that I just thought, well, I'm never going to use that gun. I can't um, confirm this. I, I, mean, I can't. I confirm. can't. <laughs> we, we buy, sell, and trade all the time. That's how I met you. That's so right. That's right. A, a lot. You know, stuff like, oh, I'll never use it. I mean, it sat on my shelf for years, and I will never use it. Or I bought another gun that I thought, well, that replaces that mm -hmm. niche. I just find it fascinating that that's the niche that people are so interested in saying, well, I don't need this or, or, or they're afraid it's, that it's, that it's going to be illegal. I find that interesting. It is. Um, Cause that's the first I've ever even heard any of that. What the market is currently flooded with as it is the modern military surplus gun. Um, so anyone that has been in the military is familiar or has some sort of familiarity with an AR platform, um, either in handgun or rifle format. So, um, gosh, back from, was it when, I think it was like before Vietnam, 
um, when they started using the AR style rifles, but they were I, really heavily I, used. Yeah, I think it was because they, from what I understand, they were used for sure in Vietnam, but it was right at the beginning. I think a lot of them still had M1 Garands. Yeah. And then they were outmatched by the AK. Yeah. So they're like, well, now mass produce, you know, yep. now it's switched quick. Yeah. So <laughs> let's overhaul this change. And these these were made to be a quick production, mass produced firearm with low cost on the production side of things, and they could crank them out. So that's what they did, and so this is now what we have a surplus of. So this is what we're going to see a lot of, and this is what we're going to see returned um, most frequently, if there's a lot of it out there. I wonder if the piece of it, too, is that it was the most purchased, you know, so it's naturally going to be the most returned. Not that necessarily the people are like, well, I got to get rid of this gun. It just happened to be, if I'm going to get rid of a gun, this was my new gun that I don't need. I didn't need it two years ago. I don't need it now. That's exactly what it is. So I mean, That's fascinating. Just fascinating. It's not just the ARs that get returned, too. Um, anything that came out of great-great-granddad, granddad, great-grandma's closet you know and they've been in the family for decades as well um, so you get a lot of really cool old vintage guns that are returned as well as um, a good mix of the modern stuff that's in there but i would say the largest modern firearm in that group that is returned is the ar platform hands mm -hmm. down mm. so and i know people are gonna well let me ask you this if what are they what are they replacing it? Like the ones that are like, well, I don't need this anymore. Let me get like, what is there a pattern there or is it just something strange? So it, it's unique and it's definitely a case by case basis. Um, so I've had girls come in and purchase their very own rifle. Uh, sometimes they'll hang on to those. Other times they're just like, yeah, I bought this AR pistol thinking that this was what I was going to need and everything. And I, it's not practical for my uses. I'd like to replace it with something I would be more comfortable and confident carrying. Yeah, I was even thinking that too, because if I was to be getting rid of a gun it would be for something that I could carry probably because if you don't have something to carry that that should be your first priority yeah. in my opinion yeah it's something you could carry so if that was your only gun uh, yeah you made a I I personally think you made a wrong choice you should start with a carry gun the rifles are returned for something smaller um, the pistols get returned for something smaller and more concealable <laughs> as well we like got just, too we many got too many of these and and that's actually the, i think as long as i've been here i don't think i've ever seen that many <laughs> so, and i've been coming here a long time long yeah time, long time. since the old shop on 350. Yeah, a long time so, so? I, um, fascinating i'm glad you brought that up uh, because just looking over there you'd almost go well what's going on with that I do <laughs> so <laughs> many black uh, look, <laughs> clearly the black guns matter too but yeah. that they're just they don't get adopted as quick mm -hmm. um and there are so many of them i mean just in abundance of them so it's if it's the most commonly it, if it's the most common it's, gun sold, it'll be the most common, common gun returned. That makes sense. So you that just sense. That's what you have a ton of out there. That's what you're going to get. So here in the next few decades, you're going to be seeing a lot of um, polymer framed handguns that get returned over the next 30, 40 mm -hmm. years that people have just bought and been sitting on. And maybe the polymer will hold up to the test of time better and longer than the steel frame or the alloy frame firearms will, but I don't know. It's I've, always something. It is. It, and, but that makes the most sense, you know, because even with the Glock, you know, it was the most, I'm sure it was the most purchased handgun during, you know, so of course it's the most returned handgun. <laughs> so of course this is the most purchased rifle. Thanks always for the information. We definitely appreciate well, that heck as well. Heck yeah. So. Thanks for taking the time to swing by. This Absolutely. is always a pleasure. Absolutely. Well, we'll see you next time. Definitely. All right. Bye, Bye Mark. Bye everybody. Bye-bye.